hi welcome back to pink or tarot my name is z if you are new here welcome to the channel so this is going to be a singles love read so it's very very general it may not apply to everyone um but i'm just trying to switch switch it up a little bit um as far as the reading so yeah i hope that the messages that come out are helpful and insightful for you guys um, if you are interested in a personal read, I'm currently having a special a sale on my spread readings I do offer. So currently they're half off, which means they are $30. So you can get a current energy reading, finances and career, which is like a money read. Singles, a love reading, which is like what I'm going to do today. It's a little different though when it's like personalized, like for someone. Um, I do ask about the energy, like, you know, surrounding your love life or like new love, basically. And also I do provide specific person love readings like this if you're dealing with someone or you could be like in a connection and you could be like kind of unsure about what's going on um they are all very helpful and insightful so yeah let's see what's going on here with Aquarius singles single singles what message you see for Aquarius singles for September Okay, so we got separation. Yeah. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone. Here, I don't feel like it's official though, y'all, since this is like a single love read. And then we start off with separation. Okay, but I do feel like someone could be needing to let go of control issues here in this situation. If someone has disconnected from you or maybe you disconnected from someone, give it some time. Just let things like play out basically. That's what it's saying. If you are separated from someone, it just seems like maybe you could be needing to spend some time apart for a little bit. But we're about to see what else is going on here. Like... <laughs> What other messages do you have for Aquarius singles? Yeah. Whoever like kind of disconnected here. Now it could be you Aquarius. Um, here I do feel like someone has trust issues y'all. It's almost like you could have just met someone right. And like you could have been spending time with the person. Like everything was good. But then it seems like there was somebody um, separated here. It's like maybe they just needed time to themselves, basically. That's what it seems like. But we got trust that showed up here. So it does say this situation is calling for you to have faith. So let things play out. It's almost like maybe somebody needs their space. That's what it feels like. But we do got forgiving and learning that showed up here as well. So it's, I do feel like someone's going to apologize here, y'all, for like disconnecting. That's what it feels like because um, Express Your Love was here below Forgiving and Learning. Someone's going to um, apologize for disconnecting. But it, it's, it seems like it could be they're still trying to get over like some past issues. I do feel like someone has trust issues though. So it's like whoever has the trust issues right whoever um separated they could be thinking that they're dealing with other people if that makes sense like give me one more here for aquarius singles yeah retreat there was a disconnection listen so yep i'm gonna show y'all what's at the bottom of the deck but retreat showed up so yeah it was a disconnection it's time to disconnect from the world. But look, work waiting for showed up here. So with the cards surrounding this, with this retreat, now, you know, sometimes when the retreat cards show up, it's like, do you need to disconnect from this person? Like, is it worth it? But it is saying for some people it is. Like, only you will know who it is, y'all. Um, I'm going to pull some cards to see what signs could possibly pop up here. But keep an open mind here about this person. Um, it does seem like they're different. They need their space. But it does say worth waiting for. This card does not show up too often in the love reads, y'all. So, like, you know, it's a possibility the person could be worth waiting for, you know? It says divine timing is at work in your love life. So, it's like trusting, having faith here in divine timing that things are going to work out um, here. Now, I do feel like someone could be, yeah, it does seem like someone could think that the person, it could be like a third party situation. Because I'm not really sure if there's been communication between two people. But let it play out. I just feel like someone needs their space. Like, they just need their time alone. 
So let's see what comes up here in the cards. Okay, tell me about separation here for Aquarius singles. Tell me about separation. Yeah, two of cups. They're coming in here to make an offer here, romantic gesture. But the two of cups showed up. It could be a water sign that someone's dealing with here. It could be, but with the two of cups showing up here, it does show where the feeling the feelings are mutual. Just know that Aquarius. If you could be like kind of wondering, like, does this person feel the same way that I feel? They do. I just feel like it's about timing. So we're about to see what else comes up here. Uh -uh. Um, tell me about separation for Aquarius singles. Yeah, so have faith here in this connection. They're going to communicate, y'all, that it's the source is at the bottom of the deck. Have faith here. This person feels it's the feelings is mutual with the um two of cups showing up here. This could be a soulmate connection for someone, y'all. Um, because that card keep an open mind did show up. It does say your soulmate. What is that? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So it could definitely be like a it could definitely be like a personality type of thing, y'all. That's what it seemed like. It's just the person different. Tell me about trust for Aquarius. Okay, so it could definitely be a water sign for someone here. Now, I do feel like if you're a, a male Aquarius watching this, and it could be resonating with you a, a little bit here. Um... It does seem like maybe you met someone here or whatever the case is, y'all. I do feel like maybe someone was not like really emotionally available. But look, we got the King of Cups that showed up here. But someone could be dealing with a, um, a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Tell me about trust here for Aquarius singles. Yeah, so the world card showed up here. So I do feel like um, someone, they're going to come in here to, to communicate, to express how they feel. Let's see here. It could be a cancer for some of y'all, but there's some conflict. And I do feel like it's about personality. But I don't know why I was um hearing like evolved or something. Like, but <laughs> I mean, it looks like maybe somebody um like is evolving here. It's like in regards to like emotions or like a personality. It's like their traits. You know how like um this each sign like Aquarius, you guys have your certain traits. There's like a good trait and there's some bad traits, y'all. And it's like we all need to like evolve, basically. That type of thing. That's what it seemed like here. So it's like, you know, those negative traits that people be talking about in, the, you know, the readers or whatever. Or people commenting like, oh, this sign is always like this. But everybody's different. We all have to overcome these, like, you know, negative traits are like the dark side, basically, of each sign. So, yeah. Let's see. Give me one more here for trust. Give me one more for trust for Aquarius singles. Yeah, you're going to get what you want here. It does look like here that it was like a fairly new connection, y'all, um, from what's showing up. But it looks like. It looks like someone's needed to take a leap of faith, basically. So the Nine of Cups showed up here. You're going to get what you want here. Give the person some time to communicate. Tell me about retreat. Yeah, so the chariot keeps showing up here, y'all. It could be a cancer for someone, but it looks like for some of you, 
I do feel like someone was going through some type of, um, it's like internal conflict in regards to moving forward or like moving towards something new, like a new connection. That's what it looks like. Cause it looks like someone connected to someone here and it's like, um, it looks like you guys could have shared like your feelings for each other. But then it seems like one person like stepped back or like disconnected here. And you could be trying to figure out like what happened or like how does this person feel about me? You could just be not trusting the, the whole situation. Give me one more for retreat. Yeah. Three of swords. Someone's going to be apologizing for disconnecting y'all. And this could also be you, Aquarius, but like with the three of swords showing up here, it does show separation, but also too, like someone disconnected here because they could have been like still needing to forgive and learn um, or like release and heal the past so that they can't experience like this new connection here. So with the page of cups showing up here, it's letting you know this is like a new connection, y'all. But it also looks like whoever you're disconnected from, they're going to be communicating. So that was really, really good. Um, let's pull some oracle cards real quick. I'm using my love oracle deck. It's called the unconventional love oracle deck. Unfortunately, it's not for sale yet. Just wait on it. But yeah, we're about to get some insight here to see what comes up here. I won't be surprised if like dry communication shows up. But let's see. What messages do you have for Aquarius singles? Uh oh, so we got leftovers that showed up here. You could be feeling, I feel like someone thinks that um, they're getting someone's like leftovers or something. But it's almost like not really giving someone um, too much basically. But whoever is disconnected, they could still be like keeping tabs. I'm like low key watching. If you follow them on social media, they, they looking. What other messages do you have for Aquarius singles for this spread, please? What other messages do you have for Aquarius singles for this spread? Uh-oh, so we got love triangle that showed up here. So we got love triangle. I feel like this is past energy, y'all. Someone was in a love triangle, right? But then in a way it looks like someone thinks that um, it's almost like you feel like you could be getting like leftovers because of some type of like trust issue. Someone has trust issues, especially with my car mood swings being right here. But it's saying, hey, have faith in this person. You could be thinking that it's a left, I mean, um, you could be thinking that you're like in a love triangle. Give me another one here for Aquarius singles. So we got the grass was not greener. The grass wasn't greener. So it does look like for some people you could have been in a third party situation here. It does look like it was like an on and off type of situation here as well for someone. And it's like you, it's almost like the trust could have been broken here in a situation, but I feel like someone has trust issues because this card keeps showing up. But it's saying to have faith here, especially with the hair front card being here, with the separation, y'all, you could be thinking that they dealing with someone else. Listen to your intuition here as well. I'm gonna clarify this retreat card real quick. Clarify retreat for Aquarius singles. Yeah, so we got faded encounters. A hookup by the universe, that's what you want. Well, that's what we want. So yeah, whoever this is that you are retreated from or like disconnected, it's like it was meant for you to meet this person, but I do feel like maybe during the time or whatever y'all met, it's like that person was not ready basically to move forward, y'all. That's what it looks like here. They're like, uh-uh, hold on, hold on. Um. Yeah, give me one more here for retreat for Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, so they have baggage, y'all. Baggage claim. 
And I do feel like too, it's like you could have wanted to be exclusive with this person. I'm not really sure about the time frame, so I'm just throwing this out here, but it's like you could have met someone, right? And you could have been like wanting to, I don't know, maybe y'all been spending time together or whatever, but then all of a sudden they disconnected. And I feel like somebody wanted to be like exclusive. So it's like, y'all can't be taking pictures and posting it because the person won't really ready. And they could have been dealing with another person, y'all. It's like maybe they just wasn't, um, they didn't really know what they wanted. But it just shows where somebody has baggage because of possibly like a third party situation. Like they've been hurt because they have been in like a third party situation here. In a way, y'all, this seemed like whoever was going through this, it's like they was in an unhealthy situation. It, it looks very unhealthy surrounding this situation here for whoever could have disconnected from a person. Well, whoever has the baggage, they kind of messed up. But um, yeah, this is something real. A keeper, this card keeps showing up too. But yeah, this is something real. So only you would know who this person is, y'all. But like, if you are separated or disconnected from someone, it does like they're gonna be communicating to you. They just got some baggage they need to clear out. It's like, do you really need to carry this? Come on. Okay. So a keeper keeps wanting to pop out here. Yeah, there could have been no communication, y'all. Like, you could have texted this person, right? It's like, maybe you didn't get a reply back. Because I was wondering about the whole communication thing, but it says a keeper. Just give them some time to um to contact you. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I hope that it was helpful and insightful for you guys. Of course, you can leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, feel free to subscribe.